our research here, um, or the research that I've been working on, has been on myeloma um, uh, predisposition. I think that's a big unanswered question in myeloma. I think people have been thinking about this for a really long time. What, you know, and it's one of the first questions that patients ask when they come in with a new diagnosis of myeloma. Why, why did this happen? Is it something I did or I didn't do? Is that some, something in my diet? Is it exposure to something? And, and um, uh, the truth is there's a lot of unknowns there. And uh, we do know certain things, right? We know that, um, for example, there's been some studies linking specific carcinogens to an increased risk of myeloma. A couple of examples are, you know, uh, uh, s- certain pesticides, right? So like Agent Orange is, is one that, uh, a pesticide that, that was actually used as a biological weapon in, in uh in, in Vietnam, right? So there were lots of people who were exposed to Agent Orange that increases the risk of myeloma very significantly. Uh, there's um, exposure to, to World Trade Center dust, right? Has been associated with increased risk of developing myeloma. Um, and there's a handful of other uh, factors that can, in, that can increase the risk of myeloma significantly. The truth is, you, th- th- that doesn't apply to most patients, right? Most patients did not have exposure to pesticides or or, or were, you know, first responders at 9-11. So that only explains a little bit of the of the puzzle. Um, the other side of the coin that, that, you know, that was environmental factors, the other side is the inherited factors. So um, we know, we've known for a really, really long time that um, there are myeloma cases where myeloma runs in the family where multiple family members are affected by myeloma um and it's almost undeniable that there is some form of genetic predisposition in those cases right and um so what we're trying to do here is to look at this uh trying to break it down right what are the inherited factors uh what are the environmental factors and we're trying to bring that all together um, to try and really dive deeper into into under, finding new things that could be contributing to a higher risk of myeloma, and the importance of that is obviously that you know if we if we manage to find certain things that 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 are actionable, right? Let's for a patient that inherits inherits a risk of developing myeloma, that patient maybe um, should be screened at a certain age to find out if they have myeloma and if so or, or if they have MGUS or something and then and, and that patient can be followed more closely over time to make sure that they you know are, if they develop myeloma that it is caught at, a, at an early stage and without causing any of the complications myeloma can cause right so um that's the inherited aspect of things and the you know environmental exposure as- aspect of things it can lead to prevention. We can try to, um, you know, uh, may- maybe we learn that an exposure to a certain toxic can increase the risk of myeloma. Okay, that is an actionable thing. We can do something about that. Try to reduce the exposure to those carcinogens. Um, so, it, and ultimately, the, the the goal is prevention, right? Preventing myeloma from arising in the first place. That would be, you know, the ideal, of course. Uh, but even if it is going to uh, arise, then can we catch it at an early stage where um, and many myeloma patients know that if they were diagnosed when just when they progress from smoldering to active myeloma, they probably never had any clinical manifestations. And that's a very different story than someone who presented in, with kidney failure, needing dialysis, uh, with pathologic fractures, uh, you know, th- these things can have long-term consequences and really affect the life of a person. So if we can manage to catch these early, it makes a, it's a big deal. So that's the focus of our research has really been on trying to uh, understand um, predisposition to myeloma.